And another quick demo here, uh, again, showing you the model with these, this really saturated color. It's very difficult to see the shapes, and it really isn't the true representation of the color. So we've made that, those lighting adjustments, and here we're showing a new, a new, the new setting for the shiny plastic, which really you can see the ribs on the hood. You can see the front quarter panel. It's a better representation. Here we're, I'm showing the consolidation of the options into the scene editor or scene preferences. Uh, you can get to that background image as an option. Here I'm selecting a dark um, image. Uh, lighting is, if you happen to control lighting, uh, not a lot of people do, but if you happen to, you can go to the uh, lighting from the scene editor now. And these are the, the options that are appropriate to this rendering style, to this shaded style. So the ground settings are here in the scene editor. So I can turn that reflection on or off. I can turn the shadows on or off from there. And then we have um, quick access to some of these uh, options from the ribbon, from the display group in the ribbon. Here I've changed the global finish to more uh, matte finish. There's the satin that's more similar to the, um, to the legacy plastic display. Here's that shiny option, all accessible from, uh, from the ribbon. And then here I'm showing uh, in studio mode uh, where we've consolidated those options so that from shaded you can get to the, the lights environment shadows as, as you could uh, before from studio mode. But in studio mode, you see the options that are relevant to studio. So you have global illumination, you have soft shadows, ambient shadows, and those characteristics are um, unique to studio. Uh, 